three five minute rounds if they need them in the cage warriors featherweight division reese McEwen in the mint green shorts teodoro scleri in the dark green with black trim nice uh, really nice movement uh the start of foot here from uh, McEwen. nice uh, low kick I must admit, Paul, I hadn't really thought about it until you mentioned it, but like, how does Scaleri make 135 pounds? He's quite thick, all right. McEwen going after that lead leg again there. Yeah, Scaleri just egging him on here, but I think that's a bit of bravado as well. I think they know he, they hurt him. Seems very stiff and tentative uh, early on. McEwen is landing here, nice low kicks. Uh, left hook right cross from Scaleri. Beautiful shot here from McEwen. Let's see if he can finish this takedown. We saw him warming up Scaleri early. Scaleri on the neck here. Sorry, Scaleri on the neck. Yeah, McEwen got to be careful here. Oh, Scaleri looks this like he's got a bite on that. McEwen in a weird awkward angle up against the cage he's, I think his only saving grace here is that uh, left butterfly hook in creating a little bit of space but if Scaleri just sinks his hips in I think it could be a short night for McEwen McEwen's going to have to show a bit of grit and tenacity here to tough this position out steps over into the corner now no. straight back into butterfly it's just quite not underneath the chin, but if Scaleri can twist um, his, his hands and rotate his elbow down towards his hip, it can create a neck crank, and it's not so much the choke, but it's really effective. Yeah, I think McKeown is just freeing up his, uh, his hands here. I don't think uh, it's as tight as what it once was. Could be wrong. Nice back step from Scaleri. Looking to go into mount. Nice on the hook here from McKeown. McEwen doing everything right here to evade this guillotine. Really nice from McEwen. Yeah, good stuff to survive that spot. Yeah, look for McEwen just to throw up for an armbar here. He's already creating the angle. There we go, really nice. There we go. Scaleri going to be very careful here. There we go. Has he got it? Not quite straight at the Elmo Platter. I would like to see uh, McEwen just take his arm out from behind Scaleri here because Scaleri, if he does a forward roll, he's in the exact same position. Not quite now, but he's on a, was looking for the Kamara on that side. Yeah, going back to it. It's a good top pressure here, Scaleri. Let's see if he can get the crank. It's, sometimes it can be a little bit awkward to get from half guard, but he's trying to walk out a bit. A little bit high for the Kamara. Scaleri coming into this one as a plus 480 underdog and certainly not looking like that here in the early stages against Reese McEwen. It's been all defensive work really from, from McEwen for the majority of this round and Scaleri trying to take the back now. Yeah, I think he certainly he can certainly grapple. It looks like he has a little bit more, uh, well, it looks like he's a little bit stronger with physique. I think at the minute McEwen is just struggling here, like I said, just, uh, just escaping submissions and at one brief moment of the armbar, but it's all Scaleri here. McEwen just controlling the hands of Scaleri, just preventing him from snaking underneath the chin. And he's looking to turn into his man here, doesn't quite get it. Scaleri staying strong on top. There's Caleri just switching to the body triangle here. And what, what's the advantage of the body triangle, Paul, as, as opposed to just having the hooks in? It just creates a, a, a more pressure on your diaphragm. It, 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 it walks you from your breathing, or sorry, restricts you from your breathing if you're getting body triangle. And it just, it, it's just an, an awkward, horrible position. You can't get out the way you would normally um, if somebody just has hooks in. And it just keeps you in that position if you're Scaleri. It keeps your, your, your opponent in that position. 
But McKeown doing the right thing. He's trying to get his two shoulders to the mat, which he nearly had. And that in turn, Scaleri either has to come up to the mount, or McKeown is going to end up in his guard. Defended really well right throughout the round, but look, he was defending, not offending, so I think he's down around. It'll be interesting to see how Reese McEwen approaches this second round now. He's, he's known as a ground specialist. Is he maybe going to try and keep it standing? It looks like he might be. Yeah, two nice tips and a right hand so far. Nice low leg kick. I think his uh, corner would have, uh, like you said, told him to change his whole dynamics of the game. I think he's going to keep it standing this whole round. And Teodoro, 36 years of age and, and been competing for best part of a decade you know there's probably not much he hasn't seen either in the gym or in the cage yeah it looks like a season pro out there always catch the kick follows up with a right hand left hook there's low kicks from uh, McEwen too well, McEwen himself competing since 2015 as an amateur turned pro early 2020 so a lot of experience himself you look at the layer, the leg on Scaleri just below his knee. McEwen's been softening that, that those calf kicks up. Look, look for them to uh, to affect Scaleri at the end of the round. Maybe even at the start of the next round. But he is going quite right. low on it. I mean, if any of our uh, Italian fans saw those odds and fancy the punt on Scaleri today, they're going to be pretty happy with how things are going thus far nice combination there from the Italian yeah very same again just catches the kick right hand left hook beautiful takedown here from McEwen and this is where McEwen can be dangerous let's see what he can do from top position on the ground here and let's see what Scaleri can do from the bottom yeah took the words out of me now they'd like to see what Scaleri uh, has from his back rather than from top position Seems to be doing a good job of tying uh, McEwen, up, McEwen up here, sorry. Does have a, a couple of submission wins on his ledger, the Scalera, he's got an armbar. So that's something for McEwen to keep an eye on. McEwen just reaching back there for a leg, just to, you know, maybe drop in for a straight ankle lock, it looked like, and um, let go of it in the end. He's back to guard here, but nice walk, nice walk here from McEwen. Oh, looking for the triangle there, but McEwen able to get himself out. Nice elbow down from McEwen over the top, just his on the on the bridge and the nose. McEwen's got just over two minutes left to play with here. Much better round from the Scotsman. Yeah, I think McEwen needs to recognise when Scaleri is just opening his guard here to either re-pummel back to a, a proper full guard or he's looking for a scissor sweep here. So as he drops his leg down for the scissor sweep, there we go. There's, a, there's a, 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 an option for a pass there, even if it's just a half guard. A half guard is a beautiful position to be in to let some ground and pound off. He is staying busy here, so... The guard's open from Scaleri. Scalari creates some space there and scrambles up. Nice wrestle up. Let's see if he can perhaps try and steal some of this round back. He's going to have to do looking, some damage here. Scalari looking tired here. It's breathing a little bit heavy. There goes those low calf kicks again. Nice drive. Beautiful takedown from McEwen here. Looks to pass straight away. Scaleri doing a beautiful job of just reversing McKeown. McKeown dropping in here for a guillotine, looks tight. He's confident. That looks really tight, Brad. Looking for the big squeeze here. He's reaching out. He gets his head in the Unbelievable! Freeze McKeown with another beautiful. shot behind submission. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was absolute magic. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Paul Crossley, calls a stop to this contest after four minutes and five seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of guillotine choke in the red corner, Maurice McEwen! Great submission victory for Reese McEwen.